Is this the Tea House Podcast? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 51 of the Tea House. Joined by Bionni B and Al Rogers. On the biggest podcast in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. I knew that. No, we don't have them set up. Yeah, We're right. going to have like Seth on there. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Uh, we have something very exciting for you today. It's been a very fun episode. We are bringing back Drink Spurts. Drink number spurts. three. Number three. But with the with the man himself that's behind behind the uh, the beers that we've been getting. Exactly. The man, the myth, the absolute legend himself, Andrew. From the Basement Bar. He's a killer. Yep. Um, and who, whoever doesn't know who Basement Bar is, it's located in town. In Bendigo, across the road from the fountain. What, what's um, what's it under? I don't even know now. I actually, mate, I actually don't know what it's under. Like, I've never been to the it's building. Like, uh, it looks like a fancy, like, restaurant or something. Yeah, it's know. like a restaurant or something. But it's like that, the, probably like one of the coolest bars vibe-wise in Bendigo. Like, it's just, it's like nothing kind of in Bendigo except for the basement. You yeah, know and I mean? it's underground. Huh? And yeah. it's underground. You have to walk downstairs to get there. It's fucking cool. And yeah. half of it's like, the walls are made out of rock. Like, actual rock. Yeah, literally rock. Mm. But he says he gets uh, fluid problems because of that. Yeah, fluid problems. <laughs> yes, <laughs> gets bad fluid problems. But no, it's a very fun episode. We talk about uh, a lot of business while going through some of, uh, I would say like the beers that we've had on the two previous drinks, but apparently uh, they were very tame. And uh, the beers that... Tamer. Tamer. The, the beers that Andrew brought tonight were very, uh, a bit, bit more extra, would you say, Blake? Yeah, I reckon I actually there's a fly in my water, by the way. Oh my god, were you drinking that? I, I haven't recently. Oh. But he's Thanks for catching it though. He's shooting water all over the cup. Oh, is that what he actually is? It's like going all over the yeah, he's oh. licking it everywhere. Yeah, it's fucking gross. Oh, but uh without further ado Oh actually before we get into it, uh we wanted to say that me and Blake are changing the release day of each episode. It's coming out on Thursdays now. Thursday evenings, same time, 6.30. 6.30. Thursday nights, but it's it's just better for us. And like, I don't know why we didn't. And me and Blake kind of had the same idea. He brought it up to me and I was like, I actually thought about that the week before. Why don't we change it? So, so we, we are, are changing it. And uh, so this week will be Thursday, as you will know when it drops. <laughs> um, but without further ado, let's bring Andrew in. Andrew, welcome to the Tea House episode 51, mate. Good evening. Thank you for joining us no, tonight. No worries. The big 51-er. He's not, not just behind the scenes now giving us beers, he's fucking... Yes. Me, it, me and Blake had a uh, little chat. So we're like, why do we actually never have Andrew on, the man himself, giving us the drinks for drinks birds? The ones that we put our noses up at and that's gross. Yeah. He, he's going to come here and tell us that we... No, they're pretty much chatting. you got to say it to my face now. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you actually think of our reviews of the beers? I mean, I think the first one was pretty tame because it was all like, as I said, pretty standard beers. Yep. Um, but I think it was like pretty spot on too because it's like, I didn't even think about when you were trying to put food with it. I was like, oh, actually, that does sound pretty tasty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm thinking about food. Yeah, I, could, I could probably go to the pub now and maybe get some of that. Mm. Uh, that sounds pretty solid. And the second one was kind of funny because I knew... I did it on purpose. I literally threw some stuff out there that I knew was going to be a bit funny. Yep. So I was looking for the reaction. Yes. And I got some of it. Yep. And some of it, like, uh, was it a cherry sour? I think you were both like, oh, this is really good. I was like, ah. That's what I was hoping. I was <laughs> gonna, <laughs> you were hoping that was Hoping gonna be- a little bit extra. So I had to try a little harder. Yep. Oh, so, so you've upped your game, I, I imagine. Then. I have upped my game. Yes. I have upped my game a little bit. I am scared tonight. Uh, when I messaged Andrew, he was like, I'm going to bring some really weird stuff. And I'm generally a little bit scared, but also kind of excited. I mean, it's not peak weird. Yes. It's just weird enough that there's no doubt in my mind that all of them are going to make you go, oh, is this beer? <laughs> or is this something else? Is it all, is it all classed as beer? It is it's all classed as beer, yeah. I think beer, has, uh, uh, in terms of like a definition, is a bit skewed now. Yes. Like in the past, especially when you were younger, you're like, I'll have a beer. And it's like a beer. Yes. Nothing else. There's like, maybe like someone saw a Guinness once and like, oh, that's different. Yes. yes. And now it's like, it has flowers and candy and shit in it. It's like, is it still a beer? What makes a beer a beer? Oh, don't ask me like technical questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's my is day it, off. Is it, like, is it like yeast or something? It's, it's just, it's a ferment. It's, a, it's essentially you're like fermenting sugars with the yeast uh, to a, a, an alcohol percentage. I mean, 
beer even then is like you go high percentage and I'm not gonna get weird and technical about it, but you can, it can be seventeen percent and still be beer. Sounds like a salsa to me. <laughs> not joking. <laughs> Do you reckon yeast is a word that like you know, it's like saying like moist. Yeah, it, like it bothers yeast. me a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's like like yeast just reminds me of something fucking disgusting. Well, just <laughs> just think about it this way. Yeast is it made you make bread and beer with it. So I imagine yeah. you just leave bread in water on your bench and that could be beer. It's fucking gross. Just add some sugar in there. Yeah, just add a little bit of sugar and you've got a little bit of- Kill ooh. the bacteria. I'm oh, good. That's making me a little ill thinking about it. <laughs> so that was actually what someone actually put in to what we, one of our questionnaires once that their biggest fear was wet bread. Oh, Did they? Yeah. Yeah, wet bread kind of wigs me out. It, you should, you know, there's like things that shouldn't be certain textures. <laughs> yeah. Bread should never be wet. Like- I reckon I've eaten like a wet sandwich once. Yeah, but and it was it, fucked. What if it's from the juices from the food inside it, like the salad or something? I can get away with that. You know how sometimes you put a, like a, like a steak sanger in the fridge and it's yeah, like a bit, yeah. it's gone a bit like yeah, juicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still don't, I'll fucking, I'll smash that down. I'll get that. I'll fucking eat that shit. I think yeah. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is going to come off to a great start thinking about wet bread in the first five minutes. <laughs> yeah. My stomach after just eating a very, very quick Macca's uh, is kind of starting to turn. So... <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Next question. Yeah, uh, next question. <laughs> yeah. We've actually got exciting news today too. Um, mm. Andrew's actually paying two hundred dollars an episode to sponsor us. <laughs> 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 Look at his face. Well. He, doesn't, he doesn't actually know that, but uh, <laughs> this just in. It's like Christmas, but like the worst way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Christmas it was, for one side. It was Halloween the other day and I didn't get any tricks. <laughs> yeah. So this is it. So this, this is making up for everything. This is the treat. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, did, I did have to wear fairy wings and makeup, but that was voluntary. So <laughs> how was that? You actually did look good. I looked fucking great. I, you. I looked gorgeous. I like the, they like, it was just like the perfect costume for you, you know? Yeah. It was just, well, it stemmed from a joke because my staff are not significantly younger than me but they are i mean they could be five days younger than me and they'd still make this stupid joke they call me dad at work now um and it, it definitely annoys the shit out of me That's so, so we had an agreement that was okay if i if i dress up for halloween because i said no to doing halloween for like a solid six weeks i was like no like they were both like come on we gotta do it it'll be fun i'm like no I don't want to dress up i hate every holiday ever i hate christmas i hate i'm, I'm like the grinch and i was like <laughs> all right fine i will dress up but for a whole weekend you can't call me dad and they're like, okay. Ooh, was it worth it? It wasn't. <laughs> because one of them dressed as me. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is no joke. Well, what's his name? Daniel. What? Daniel. Daniel. Yes. I reckon- Every time, every, and he knows this. Yeah. Even when I, I think he worked with me for like two weeks, and I was like, buddy, why? <laughs> <laughs> why is your and he name And he told me, and I was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. But was why? <laughs> anyway, Daniel, right? He's got, he's got naturally like shaved head. He's just got a shaved head. He shaved head. Got, yeah. What he was wearing, he was wearing a hat with like an orange, like just joined to the hat. Oh, uh, with mutton chops. I literally thought it was like, that was yep. his actual fucking thing. And then he like pulled his hat up and I was like, Does just like fucking just mind mutton, blown. Mutton chops hanging out. Now he went full, like full wig, full beard, hat. He, he couldn't find a Scottish flag anyway, so he made one. Yeah, well, he was wearing it around. Yeah, he was, it was a, he went, I had to send him to go get stuff from Dan Murphy's because we were low on something. And he was like, he just went full commitment and just went in the costume. That's so I was weird. like, okay, all right, fair enough. That's what you got to do. That's, That's dedication. Tough. You got to do that with Halloween. That's tough. Well, you sort of edited it like 93 times now, but we're going to ask, um, are you really Scottish? <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Because <laughs> we've seen a photo mm. of you in your uh, in your in your bar. It's the photo. Best. Yeah, it's the best. The the uh, the very very accurate portrayal of me <laughs> riding a mythical creature, uh, looking like Fabio, and having no tattoos, which I, I feel like is a little bit of a faux pas, but I'm okay with it. The stallion riding a stallion. <laughs> I just thought it was you back in the Mel Gibson days. like a fucking Shetland pony than a stallion at yeah. this point. I'll actually describe it. It is Andrew in clouds. Riding a unicorn, full shredded, ripped as, holding a Scottish flag. Yeah, there's so many in inaccuracies there, but like you just have to <laughs> let it slide and just go, okay, that is me if it was a fever dream. That is like, that's what you hang up. You know, like you see those movies, like those real rich motherfuckers mm. and like mansions and they've got like them like holding like a boar's head with like, it's, you know what I mean? And it's just like, it's very huge. like, it's, a, it's like Tony Montana from, uh, like it's very yeah. that, like it's like makes me look like the most arrogant piece of shit, but I didn't do it. Like physically. <laughs> Every uh, every reference to me being Scottish or there's photos of me 
are all done by the this one singular piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> I'll dub him in. I'll call him a piece of shit. I don't care. Um, and he's like, he is a wonderful person, and he does all of my art for like my merch and and the bar and every piece of like uh, media I put out. He's still a piece of shit because every time that we need to do something, whether it's like, um, like, cause I love, I, I love clothes. I love everything like that. I collect sneakers. That's pretty much a common thing that everyone knows now. So I always wanted to do merch that was kind of cool. But every time I say, Hey, we should do a new shirt. It's time. He, the first thing he always goes, so it's going to be your face uh, doing this. I was like, mate, no, <laughs> it's not. I don't want to have me on it anymore. It looks, it's terrible. <laughs> um, and every time like uh, he was redoing his shop, he owns a, a tattoo shop. And he was moving and he was doing it. And then he wasn't even finished. He goes, oh, come over. I want you to show I want you to show you something. So I go, what is it? Thinking it was like, oh, maybe he painted the wall a cool color or whatever. Nah, he goes, oh, there's a, a present for you over there. I was like, oh, okay, cool. It was really big. And I looked at it and it was that thing that, that I've got framed. True. And I literally went, dude, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then oh. two weeks later, he got like weirdly excited. And I'm like, what is going on? And he found a website that you could turn that image into anything. So he's like, you should make like Duna covers. Oh my God, yes. Or like undie, underwear and oh, shit. Like, it was yeah. like you, everything. It was like stubby holders and shit like that. And I was like, dude, I don't want to go to sleep. To be honest, that would look fucking cool as a stubby holder. How funny would you or head be on a stubby holder? That I would, would be elite. awesome. You actually should do that. I, and I, then like make it personally, like whenever you deal out a beer, like it comes with like one of those stuff. I think that would, make, that would make me quit drinking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you make me drink more and quit drinking simultaneously. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it gets to the point where there's probably too much me, but every time we do something like two, I think it was two Halloweens ago, there like three people dressed up as me and he was one of them. And then this year I forgot about it. I didn't even think that it was an option until I found out that he had something to do with this bullshit. And yeah, yeah got a little like weaseled in. was like, you should do this. You should do that. <laughs> I made him dress up. That's like, so all right. Good. Fair enough. Was there a beard? Yeah. Oh yes. He went full like full for it. Even he even dressed in the same outfit as in the photo. That is which, so good. Which involves a singlet, and I don't own any singlet, so <laughs> I was like, I don't know why he went. Like, I have yeah. no idea. That's so good. Jen, should we get into our first, our first taste tester? Oh yeah. From Andrew, the man himself. Andrew will be. Uh, what would you say? Would, delivering them to us? I will, I, I'll, I'll do my job. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much doing my job. It's yes. my day off and I will do my job. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I, I tried to do this last time. I specifically tried to make it so they were drank in a certain order. Yes. But obviously that gets lost in communication when you're not here. <laughs> this time they cannot be that fuck up. Yep. So they are in a specific order. So it's got like least weird to the most weird. Cool. But they are very weird. All weird. Um, they also, I think, increase in strength quite aggressively. <laughs> Interesting. What, what do you mean by aggressively? <laughs> um, by the time we get to the end, potentially quadruple. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what we like to hear. Uh, yes. Potentially quadruple. But oh my God, I'm on the, on the, should, I, should I do this one? Yes. Oh. Yep. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck's in the can, mate? What the fuck's <laughs> in the can? <laughs> <laughs> That's the we sound bite we made, ready? What's that taste like, mate? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Reminiscing on the old days. So I, I've, this is pretty normal. Yeah. Here we go. I'm intrigued. Oh, I don't really want to slide this across a lot of cables. Yeah. Like Wait, Andrew, all. do you want to hold up the uh, can yeah. for the camera? You can see. So this is, I said, this is probably the easiest, and this is delicious, by the way. And I'm, I'm like common factor of everyone that seems to have bought it. Um, I can smell it from here. Yeah, it's it's. Ridiculously sweet. I don't know. I don't want to try it. I want to try it all at the same time. Okay, so should we cheers in one of our mics? I'll cheers in your mic. I'll, I'll just cheers to myself. I'll cheers. <laughs> oh, you got the can. <laughs> oh, I do that have actually the can. worked. It actually well. makes a nice noise. Yeah. So uh, this is by a brewery called Three Ravens. Um, it is called their Lime Creamsicle. I kind of like that. It oh sounds like it sounds like he doesn't, but it, 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 it like, actually do. It actually does. It, like, it gives you like a. It's like a, like what a soft drink does to you. Like yeah. Busy. So it's like half soft drink, half beer. So I think it's like um, those lime creams called like um, uh, ice, lo- ice lollies, ice creams, whatever they are. I'm not a big ice cream eater. That is so weird. I know. Ice cream. I know. I shouldn't be. Like if it's like- I shouldn't be because I'm like- lactose intolerant, which but- Oh, yeah. true. Yeah, it's not a good time. Sad. I'm actually not and I couldn't imagine it. It'd be so shit. Apparently 75% Literally. of people today are, are lactose intolerant. Fun fact. I'm like something though, but I don't know what it is. Like I have to drink decaf coffee. Otherwise- it like that's caffeine intolerance. 
Yeah, it might actually be. And that's done. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That, that is that is your favourite, isn't it? Is that your favourite? No, it was just, there was barely any left. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> yep. I wish it was just like full and it's like, and I can't skull beers to shit. I can drink beers, fine. I cannot skull to save my life. I can drink. It just fizzes your gut up though. Like every yeah. time, do you remember the neck nomination? Yeah. I oh. remember doing that years ago. I like, think, oh, fuck, you know what? I was probably underage when I did it too. Fucking sue me, cunt. <laughs> anyway. Mate, that's flashing back. <coughs> I, and I just, that's ages ago. And I just remember just remember finishing too. Like, fuck, I'm a hard cunt. I'll just finish that beer that quick. And then as soon as the camera turns off, you're just like, fuck. <laughs> Power bomb out the back straight away. <laughs> Where's the cruisers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love though? How, cru- how cruisers became mainstream yeah <laughs> like, i don't know yeah, uh, somebody uh, i can't remember who it was it was uh, someone put out some content uh one of the like australian youtubers it's like as you get older the acceptance of cruises into your drinking culture like say you're six we all under we all well, we all underage drank that's i'm not no one's gonna lie about that yeah, yeah. like when you're 16 and your mates are like come over to some beers and you rock up with like can't draft or whatever and, and everyone's gone oh let's try this cruiser oh that's that's gross oh you can't do that and every year you get older everyone's like Inevitably, everyone's just rocking up with cruises at one point. Literally. Yeah. Middle-aged men telling you, yeah, I don't even like beer. And it's like, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. literally. No, it, like, I think most of the time people go out, they start on beer because like, you know, by the end of the night, it's like seasoning dries, whatever. Yeah. By the time you go to the clubs, it's just all vodka or fucking something easy to drink. Yeah. Well, yeah. Most, yeah. <laughs> Blake, should we do a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a rating on this little bad boy? Quick one. Yeah, quick one, quick one. Actually, don't mind it. I do taste. Did you say it was lime? Yeah, yeah. I do definitely taste the lime. It's got that. It is very sweet. Yes, it's very. It is sweet. very sweet. It is good. Mm, it's actually not bad though. What's it called? Sorry. Um, it's the lime creamsicle. By that sounds like an ad. <laughs> three, <laughs> three Ravens Brewing. True. Uh, delicious, delicious beers. Very cool name. No, actually, don't. Not too bad. I could drink two and I. I could. I, I could probably drink two. Well, yeah. the up, the upside the the upside of this, and it will give away the rest of them. This is one standard drink. Yes. In a in a can of beer. Okay, so this is, it's uh, going to get far worse. Same. It's going to get far worse by the it, end. It, 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 look, it, flavor-wise, it'll get aggressive, but not bad and bad. I don't have any beers here that taste like actual spew. Yeah. Like, that's it, good. There's nothing that you're going to drink and be like, I think I'm going to die. Um, do you reckon some places brew their beers and they're like, fuck, this tastes like shit, but we're going to like dish it out? Yeah. Or do you reckon it's just like hardcore I motherfuckers? Gonna, I was going to take a little like, yeah, it's called Carlton Draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like, but you know what I mean? Like, the, like for example, like the chocolate ones and stuff that are very, very. It like depends too, because I think with certain breweries and certain people, uh, certain brewers and stuff, they aim for a certain flavor. So you can't obviously make a beer that's going to taste exactly like a Big M. Even yes. if you, for, for example, call it like Big M stout, whatever. Yeah. It's Fast. not going to taste like Big M. It's just because it's got chocolate in it. Big M's do chocolate, whatever. But some beers are ridiculously like close to the like the topic. Yeah. So there's a brewery in Queensland. They put out a Hubba Bubba beer. Yeah, right. So True. A hubba, oh, I think I maybe. Yeah, I yeah. Reckon, I think you yeah, tried it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it like almost tastes exactly like Hubba Bubba. Does it? Like that's elite. Spot on. I can't. I, I can't remember. Do we have? I reckon we had this at the bar. I think. Yeah. Do yeah. Oh, this wasn't that. Purple. Yeah, it was the purple. Yeah, yeah, it was oh, the we, purple did, we did, we did, yeah. we did. Yeah, like that was it's still, it still has that beery flavor at the end. Yeah. It smells like bubble gum and it tastes like bubble gum and you're like- It's again. pretty impressive. That's what I kind of like about crafts. It's like fucking insane. What yeah. fucking flavors like they come up with, eh? I'd like a, you've already sort of answered it, but like I want, I want more. What's like a, what's a beer that everyone loves that you hate? Obviously you've already said one, but- um, I, Look, I'll, I literally will drink anything. You put it in front of me, I'll drink it. Like VB- can't draft, can't draft anything. I will drink it. Um, it's not, a, there's no beers that I strongly dislike. Just don't enjoy as much. It's not that. It's the, it's the very, very fair attitude to beers that are like, I drink this, but you can't drink that kind of thing. Yes. That like, it's almost gatekeeping of beer and it's silly. Like it's so, so stupid. Yes. Like, I don't care what you drink. I don't care what either you drink. I don't care what anyone drinks. If you enjoy it, yeah, that's right. drink it. Yes, but, but don't tell other people what to drink. So I, I think it doesn't matter about the brand. Some beer literally tastes fucking terrible. Like I think Ton is awful. Uh, was <laughs> it Ton? Like the cheap, oh. like thirty pack, like canned beer that you get for like it's like thirty dollars. Oh, hammer 30. and tong. No, nah, it's called Ton. Like oh, T- ton. Yeah, Ton. <laughs> T U N. Oh, Ton. Fuck, that was such a struggle for me to hear. Oh, that. My my <laughs> accent is pretty much gone from when I was a kid. But like sometimes words just don't like they're just in one ear and out the other. Yeah. Um, it tastes terrible, but like I'll still drink it. Yeah, true. No, that's good. I wanted to ask you, what is like some of the the weirdest stuff you've seen at your bar? 
being a bar manager. Wait, pe- uh, people or booze? People. <laughs> oh. I want to hear like people story because like, fuck, you'd see some shit. Because like, you know how you go out like Saturdays and you see some weird shit as like a, a customer. What would you see owning the beer and like being there every night? Uh, owning the bar. Well, you see everything. Like, uh, that's exactly. A, I think that's the thing that people don't understand. Like when you go out for beers, you go out for drinks or whatever, whether you go out to a nightclub, you go out to a pub, you go out to a bar, whatever. Go out to a restaurant. The thing that people need to understand that you are in a little bubble at your table or at the bar or in the corner or whatever, and you think you're just standing, like standing there talking to your mates, and you can talk about anything, anything you want. Everyone that works in that venue knows. <laughs> like they know. Yeah. Like because, you, you know, you'll walk past and catch like a weird conversation. You're like, I'm going to hang around this area some more and pick up glasses. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking juicy. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but like that's just part of working. Like you could... Like you're a trader, you like I, you do things. <laughs> <laughs> I do stuff. Luca <laughs> does stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, but wherever you go around people, there's always like, you know, you hear things and you're like, because uh, and because you're mm. there doing your job, people forget you exist. You're just a fly on the wall. That's actually so true. You definitely would. What's I, I'm I I actually do agree that people are irresponsible with that sort of stuff because I'm always like passing out when cunts are talking around people. Like, what are you doing? And they're just like. Real loud about think, it and shit. Yeah, that's like me. I think that's like why 99% <laughs> of trouble starts at venues is because people forget how drunk they are. They forget how loud they get. And then someone really close to them will hear it. Yeah. Or it's like you'll accidentally say something about somebody that, you know, like, you know like someone. Next to you or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And they'll be like, what the fuck? And then, then shit kicks off. Yeah. And that's like 99% of the, the like, you know, reason things happen. Um, so, because just people are unaware of their surroundings. But there has been some weird shit that has happened at work. It's always, it's always like, what a fuck with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then everything kicks off and everything's gone to shit. But no, we've, we've had some pretty weird shit happen at work. Uh, it just depends because we could go in like multiple different directions. Um, I, I could tell you about weird customers. I could tell you about weird happenings. Um, I will give you one story off the bat. Um, I have an old building. Like the building that is, is like 100 years old. Like So essentially, um, you know, a lot of stuff will be old. It'll be structurally, you know, it's, it's a great building. I love it. It's fucking awesome. But like sometimes plumbing issues happen or like electrical, ha- like, at every venue it happens. Uh, one night, I think, uh, I think it was like a Thursday or some shit. Um, Thirsty Merc, the band, were playing at I think Star Bar or something like that. And a friend of mine was messaging me going, oh, we have Thirsty Merc and they want to come drink at a quiet bar and we know you're closing soon. So can we just take them to yours and like, they just have a quiet beer, just hang out for a bit, and then they'll fuck off back to wherever they're staying. I was like, yeah, that sounds great. Meet a cool band, have some beers with them, and then go home. Uh, they rocked up, lovely dudes. I uh, started talking about like music and stuff, and then this guy kind of walked up to me that wasn't part of their group. It was just he was just there, and he goes, "Hey man, um, you've got some flooding." <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean some flooding? Um, you, you've got a bit of water like coming from your bathroom." Like a bit of water, it must be just like a little bit of like a like a leakage or something. Yeah. Oh, there was a fucking river flowing <laughs> from my toilet because I don't know. There's a bit of blockage in my urinal and the toilet that were filled to the top, including the sink, and they were just flowing through the bar. Oh my um, god! And the guys from Thirsty Mac just like looked at me and were like, "We're Wait, gonna man. fucking go." <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I was like, "All right, man, <laughs> thank you." And we were, I think it was like one o'clock then when the guy was told me, and the guy told me that he fucking left. So I have a gut feeling he just. Yeah, he was him and he, was he like, felt bad. He did something, like, felt bad, wanted to tell me, but also wanted to like distract me to fucking run. <laughs> yeah. But we were there till like four o'clock in the morning, just pushing water out oh. of the bar. And it was just like the the worst timing of an event ever to the point where one of my security guard mates rocked up weirdly late and me and my bartender at the time were just trying to push water and he's like rocking up like, hey guys, and he goes, oh, fuck. Um, get a broom. <laughs> yeah. Come and help. <laughs> oh, that's and, uh, so funny. For people that don't know as well, your bar is actually underground as well. Yeah, it was so. nearly underwater at that point. It was nearly <laughs> a fucking aquarium. Submarine, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it is literally, it's it's below the creek. So um, luckily we're, we're all situated. So there's no problems in terms of if it rains too much. We, we never flood. We've got like, um, uh, I was going to say pumps. We do have pumps, but we're like um, uh, drainage and stuff. So there's no dramas with that, but we do get some like, you know, water from other places and stuff. And yeah, it, yeah, we've had flooding a fair few times from either whether it's people spewing and then trying to stuff <laughs> cardboard down the toilet, which does not break down very quickly. So then we've got like full toilets and then people are like, I need a piss. I was like, don't. Oh, that would fuck <laughs> Just me up. hold it. <laughs> I actually heard this conversation with someone. It was like, imagine 
owning a bar, not even owning a bar, but working in a bar and you have to be the person that cleans the toilets. Fuck that for a joke. Like, yeah. Uh, like, oh. I have, I had, uh, and I, I, I miss her dearly. She's in Melbourne now. I had a, my very first employee, very legendary employee. Um, and she was very, very good at her job. Very, very good at her job. Especially when there was blockages. Because <laughs> she didn't give a shit. That's so good. She would literally just be like, somebody would be like, oh, the toilets are blocked. And she goes, okay. And just like starts putting a plastic bag over her arm. <laughs> to the point where it started <laughs> to happen so regularly that she just ditched the plastic bag and just started fisting the toilet. What? Because she just didn't care any longer. Because she was just like, it's only fucking water and yeah. piss. Who cares? Yeah. Like you wash your hands afterwards and like maybe go home for a quick shower. And then come back and you'll be fine. But it just just didn't care. That's legendary. Um, except for the one time someone did a shit on the toilet. <laughs> Oi, I've been there. Yeah. Uh, I've been there. Oh, you have been there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it was, it was like, it was, it was a lot. And, and Pete, you don't realize how much it stinks too when it's not masked with water. And it's not your own. Yes. When it's someone else's, <laughs> it smells so much worse. Yeah. yeah. You can actually, it's because you've like, for example, 25 years of, you know, mustering it, you know, I can yeah. like kind of deal with my own. Sometimes even I knock myself yeah, out every now and then. It depends on the meal. It depends yeah. on the meal. If I have paid to the day before. Nah. No way. Game over. Like with, <laughs> we, um, like Blues and Roots is incredibly, incredibly busy for every venue. It's pretty much like a common thing for everyone. Like everyone knows that. Yep. Um, so we're always busy all weekend. Yep. So it's really hard to track what's going on because you, you know, you get a full venue. This is before COVID too. So everyone can stand and it's just a bit of a nightmare. Like logistically as a venue, you've always got problems because like you're introducing a different point of control to a venue. Yeah. So like other people are controlling elements of your venue that you're like, what the fuck is happening? There's always surprises, which is totally fine. Like you just have to adapt. But one, uh, there was one time a couple of years ago where um, it was like in between music. I think maybe even the music had finished and we had like this old couple come in. They were like, must've been in their fifties and they ordered drinks and they must've ordered like, I think they ordered old fashioned. So like all booze cocktails, like there's nothing in them that like, like you make them well and they're still tasty and shit, but like they're all alcohol. Yep. And they ordered them and then they were probably there for like five minutes until my the, that, that bartender, uh, her name is Jess, came and goes, you should probably come and have a look at this. I was like, uh-oh. Because we saw them come in <laughs> and they sat down and then we happened to see one of them like fucking run up the stairs. And then the husband, well, the wife ran up the stairs and the husband like kind of like casually followed. <laughs> and then my bartender was like, you should probably come, come have a look at this. So she's come in, ordered cocktails, and then proceeded to shit and spew all over the wall, all over the door, a all customer. over the toilet. Yep, all over, like everywhere. Like it was, it was like, have you ever seen Daddy Daycare, the movie? Yeah. And the kid goes, I missed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with his heart, with her ass. It just, she missed. Oh. And yeah, it was, yeah, we, we, there's a lot of stories like that, but like there is the other kind of stories where you just kind of end up getting, like watching people get drunk and do dumb shit. Like yeah. I have a friend that is renowned for just getting drunk enough that he'll just, do backflips. That's awesome. You're just like, hey man, do a backflip. He goes, okay. Okay, I'll do it. Can you do it? Ever, yeah. Ever, ever <laughs> landed on his head? Once. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. I feel like when people drink too, that's when they're, they're always the most confident, but the least equipped. Well, we had yes. one dude that saw it. They were out drinking and um, he, they were actually out the front. So I didn't get to see it. I had to get this passed on. So my mate did the backflip and this guy goes, I can do that. And just straight on up on his head. Like he. Uh, yeah, we just uh, had to cut halfway there because the camera ran out of time. But uh, Andrew was very well finished in what he was speaking, what you said. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> fucking remember what it was. Yeah, about none least. of us can remember exactly what the end of the conversation yeah. was. It's, it's like that thing where an alarm goes off and you, you just go, what? Yeah, it just like freezes you and you're like, oh. Yeah. Anyway, we are up to drink number two. What's this one called? I'm scared. So this one is from Bright Brewing. So down down the beach, bright is down the beach or down yep. the mountains. Oh, yeah. One of the two. Oh, there. Oh, there Isn't is that bright in the yeah. mountains. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Bright in the mountains. But um, <laughs> you saw the last beer was uh, like beer coloured. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. These ones always scare me. Yes. Always. It's so red. so th- no, it's not. It's black. black. Well, it's kind of oh, all. It's, it's kind of red. It's kind. You know. You're not wrong. I know what you mean. Well, it does kind of look a little um, bit red. So this is. I'll give you this. Thank it's, you. It's got a can- Canadian flag on it there. It does have a Canadian flag on it. There's too much. There's way too many electronics for this to like me be handling. I know. Handling when I like, liquid. When I was like over your side, I was like, "Fuck, that is scary." Like you know, yeah. like anxiety. And it's on me too. Drinking if I, beers. If I <laughs> hand it over, I've done it. Like it's my <laughs> fucking fault. Oh, 100 percent. I'd blame you too. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You'd be paying for it, man. No, I'm joking. <laughs> well, I thought that was going to come out of that that, wait, wait, that wait. sponsorship money that we were talking about before. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so this is. Oh motherfucker! I actually, this it does taste like one of the other. This ones. is called Maple Heist Porter. So it does have a, a Canadian Mountie and a moose and shit on it. Um, it's made out of real Canadian. I don't know. I'm just reading the can now at this point. <laughs> real, real Canadian. What? Real Canadian real Cana- people. Real Canadian people. <laughs> no, real Canadian maple syrup. So it's just like a like it's one of those like dark beers that it just has maple in it. Like it's. Mm. I just I wanted to throw this one in here just so that the rest of them were going to be a nightmare. It's a, it's generally not too bad. I'm personally just dropped a fucking hair in my drink. Personally, oh, look at, like come on now, I've got so much hair that yeah. everything I eat and drink has fucking hair in it. Fuck, that would piss me off. I'd, I've actually, if I had this conversation with you, like for me, it pisses me off. And like, look how small my beard is in comparison. When I sleep, it like goes into my mouth. Do you get that? I do. I I can give you something worse. Eating pasta and swallowing your own hair, and then trying to not full, swallowing it fully, so you just kind of go because <coughs> it's still connected. half like connected to your head, and then trying to pull <laughs> the hair out through your mouth. It is like it's really it's like a horror movie. No, no joke. I think I have like a phobia of hair, kind of like that because I. Why ha- am I here then? <laughs> like ninety no, percent hair. No, because when I was like uh, when I was a bit younger, I had like a husky, and like they fucking molt everywhere. So like every meal that came out had hair in it. Yeah, and it just like completely but, fucked me. I just get like if I have like a hair in a right. sandwich and I eat it, I like dry reach. It like imagine how, imagine like, how many hair splinters you'd have to this day. Hair splinters, yeah, yeah, like too many. Not a hairdresser though. Imagine them fucking. I haven't them. been. I haven't gotten a haircut since 2017. Really? Yeah, 100. percent That's so good. And the only reason I know it's 2017 because I'm pretty sure I got a haircut for the last time I dressed up at has for Halloween, and I got like probably your length. Oh, not you, because yours is a bit longer. Probably your length hair length. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hasn't haven't had a haircut since. Fuck, that's actually yeah. a good effort. I couldn't even imagine you with short hair. It's fucking terrible. I look six. Actually, I lurked, <laughs> I lurked you back. I yeah. lurked your full Instagram because there's not that many photos. No, I, delete, I deleted that, a lot of the stuff I didn't need on there. Yeah, like, I did that too. Actually. There's just like some shit you just don't, like, you're like, don't need it. Yeah, literally. No one needs to see that. Yeah, like all my 2012 photos. Like, yeah, yeah, see you later. Yeah. Looks like you're trying to train a dragon. <laughs> That's a compliment. Actually, um, I, I, I'll just, I can't show the photo, but the, there was a, uh, um, a realization this Halloween. My costume was supposed to be a fairly emo godmother because I was going to just dress in all black and like neon because uh, my shoes were like bright green. And, um, and I was like, cool, I'll like half and half, like fa- fa- fairy godmother and fa- like an emo and shit. <laughs> and then as I was getting my makeup done, I realized I looked like the bartender from Shrek. <laughs> oh, oh yeah like the really manly chick yeah yeah and i just went like so i just posted on instagram i was like compare the pair that's so and I was like, good oh, i fucked up here so you just yeah. own it you're like fuck it that's what i look like now um if i make you up one of her photos <laughs> would you would you hang it up in the bar yeah i'll, I'll put <laughs> at this point i have no shame i will put anything up in the bar at this point <laughs> actually even better there's a, a like um a, a what's called chibi it's like a, um an animated japanese animated kind of version of that big photo I've got. And yes. I do have a friend that has it tattooed on him. That's cool. Bullshit. I would get no you, bullshit. I would get you running unicorn tattooed on me. I had I had one girl come I in. I actually would do that. I had one girl come in and she's like, So what would I have to do to get free drinks? I was like, I don't know, like a mate's got a tattoo and maybe do that because what if I got a full back piece of that, like the big one? I was like, mate, you could drink here for life, like for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then my Did mate Did you just say for one drink or he or who? I was a chick, like just, I think she was pretty like pretty tanked and she's like, Oh yeah, I'll just get that whole back piece done and my mate was like <laughs> Don't accept that. She'll do that and then you'll be fucked for life. Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah, true, actually. She'll like sue you or something. He's, like, yeah, she's like, he's on me. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. He's like, I feel like he's on there. Yeah. Like, All right. Mate, Lincoln just added a uh, mixed roomy drink. He just spat at me drink and he started laughing. <laughs> How did I spit? It come out sideways, mate. Yeah. You tell me, man. Like, my, I'll, spit, I'll... my spit tastes good. I was, I was Keely. Was that? Yeah. That's, that's getting pretty R rated now. I know. So it's going to need like a need a, a, a not safe for work tag. Yeah, eighteen plus on like yeah. a title or something. You're going to lose all that monet- like monetization on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, we need like a safe word in the podcast so you don't do shit like that. <gasps> we actually do. Oklahoma. Bu- bubbles. No, bubbles. O- Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. What about bananas? <laughs> no, Oklahoma's better. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, wait, Blake. We haven't uh, done a little bit of a little bit of a recap. Bit what of a rate. Fuck is in my beer? Um, at, at first, I was gonna almost say it tasted like a fucking espresso martini. Kind of does. It kind of does. But actually. it's like dry. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're actually yeah kind of close there. I reckon. Now, I never even thought of that actually, but you are kind of close. Out okay. of out of um out of curiosity, because I really want to get onto this third one. Yes. So I'm gonna be what I I'm usually and pressure you into finishing these rather quickly, because I really want you to try this third one. Fuck, I'm scared. Right? But I will ask you to maybe put a little bit of water in them 
and then drink that water so that there's not that left over in it. Yeah. That's my favorite face now, Link. That is now my favorite face. <laughs> yeah. Clip that. See, this is why I thought maybe we shouldn't wait. We should wait for me to come on and do this in person because I'm just going to peer pressure you into like sculling beers. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. No, that's oh. good. Because I'm used to it. Like everyone that I'm surrounded by in my life is just like the worst influence. I love them all dearly, but like, holy fuck. Like, <laughs> What's the weirdest drink? Because you obviously drink heaps of weird shit. Yes. What's the weirdest one you've had? The weirdest one? drink I've had. Weirdest drink you've had. Um, and, and not the one, not the fucking hot sauce drink. <laughs> you hated that hot sauce oh drink. Oh my God. <laughs> Have we, we talked about that on the potty briefly, didn't we? We're, we're going to be talking about it right after this. Yeah. Um, I, my, my, my wonderful, <laughs> wonderful friend, Sam, um, has this drink that's um, based on a michelada, which is like a, a beer um, and tomato and like hot sauce and lime and cheese. It's really refreshing if you like to drink like pasta sauce. Um, Cause that's what it tastes like. It tastes like fucking pasta sauce. Yeah, it's but he fucking loves it. Like I've had nights where he's just sculling these drinks like over and over again, like shoving fingering limes into cans and like fucking hot sauce and it's like salt slurries. And it's like, buddy, you okay? Yeah. Is everything okay at home? Yeah. What, what's yeah. happened? Yeah. What's up, are you? Uh, like I mean, I love you, but fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, and Blake tried it. It was it was hilarious. Oh and it was not even that spicy. It was um, it was like Tabasco sauce. I do agree that yeah, I know I'm white though. Oh yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I do. I do um, agree though. The least, the less you sip, the worse it is. Yeah, mm. because you get less beer and you don't think about it. But because you're like, oh no, I can't drink too much, and then you fucking die <laughs> and you burn it out your face. Honestly, I had a sip of it and I was like, this is fucked. I generally don't like anything hot though. So it was well, really I love hot. Bad. I used to hate it. Uh, I love it now. But before we get off topic, uh, I will answer this question <laughs> about what's the weirdest thing I've drank because it gets it, like it's you know when you you hate certain foods and you like. I can't eat it. I hate it. Whether it's like pineapple, mm. tomato, or whatever. Yeah. And then as you get older, it changes, and you're like, I could probably, I could probably eat that now. Yeah. Um, so much. Every time I think that something's too weird, I drink it, and then after a couple of times, it becomes fine. And like it's added to my repertoire of things I can drink. Yes. And then someone's like, Oh, try this. I'm like, Well, that fucking sucks. And then I drink it again. Yep. So like, I think the only thing that I kind of can't drink, and this is going to be really a surprise, is vodka. Oh really? I can't drink vodka. As in like straight vodka. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm not, bad I'm with not overly surprised just because it's disgusting. It's really bad. I like I can drink like there's some weird spirits called like Finet, which is like really really bitter mint liqueur. Like and I mean like bitter mint. True. Um, I can't drink gin. Gin, Gin's fine. Bad for Can, like Campari, which is like super bitter orange. Like um, mezcal, which is like smoky tequila. Everything like that is totally fine. They all sound so. What cool. about mixed? Everything is fine. I can't drink. I can't, I can't drink too many RTDs because my Guts just decide that they can't handle it anymore. What's an RTD? Like um, cruises and shit. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Is that is that? I, I get heartburn off them. I just get st- like stomach cramps. Yeah, so I can like if I can drink all the shots in the world, all the beer in the world, but as soon as I start drinking like too many sweet drinks, my my guts start to go. No. Is that included with <laughs> sweet right? beer? No. <clears throat> it's not sweet no. beer though. It's like I had. Uh, we went drinking for Cup Day the other day at Babylon, and we drank. Heaps of beers, shots and stuff. And then literally it was like near the end of the night and I was still fine, but they had like slushy uh, cocktails. I had like one and my stomach was like, nah. Fucking done. This ain't like, it. Nah, nah. But it was like 20 minutes later, I was like, fine. It was really strange. I think it might be diabetes. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no fucking It could be that. It could but, um, be that. Um, on things that are weird that I'm really sorry about. Um, I'm actually scared of this. So this, this is, is like not even the last one. This is not the last one. So this is, oh, I'm showing, no, this isn't the one you can't really see with the percentages. So it's called Disco of the Dead. <laughs> That's a fucking cool name. Though. It is. Uh, like the, the one thing you cannot deny is yeah. craft beer cans are fucking sick. They're fucking vibe, man. Like they're the, they're the soccer shirts of beers. Like yeah, look cool. at any sports. Soccer they're shirt. like, look at any sports, like, like uh, unis, like basketball, NFL, whatever. They all are boring as fuck. You look at soccer shirts and they're sick. Every mm. single one of them is like colorful and covered in sponsors. And you're like, I could buy them. Yeah. yeah. Except now, Socky and Hocker. Uh, hocker? Hocker. Hockey. Hockey. <laughs> Sorry. Hockey shirts are sick as well. But every other sport, like, if, I, I can't get around AFL shirts. They're just, like, ugly as fuck. Yeah, true. Don't, don't you reckon that's why people get fucked over going from just normal beer to craft beer? Because they look in the fridge and they're like, wow, that can looks awesome. I want to drink that. And they drink it and it's, like, something. Oh, they, they get a bit fucked on percentage as well. So you drink a Carlton Dry and a Carlton Draft, they sit at 4.5%, is it, I think? Yeah, something like that. So then you go to like, say you drink a Bolter, like an XPA, like really common craft beer that everyone knows just about. And it's 5%. So drinking the same beer 
essentially, it's still high percentage. Yep. So you're drinking the same amount of beers, you're getting drunker quicker. Yep. But then you get into the weird shit like this and that. And um, it gets a bit fucky. So this is, um, an, it's not a beer color, but it's an um, an ong- orange sangrita sour, and it has tequila in it. I'm getting like nervous shakes. I've got fuck? no water left either. It, 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 I, I don't trust anything with a QR code. It, uh, so you, QR don't, code. you don't trust any venue or cafe or restaurant ever. Wait, no cafe. Yes. It actually, <laughs> it actually sounds. It uh, sounds. It smells like uh, just orange cordial. Smell it. Drink it. <laughs> that does not smell like orange. Cordial. What? What do you reckon that smells like? Ooh. Ooh. Fucking ale. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wait, cheers. Me just smacking my gums into the mic. Yeah. Hey, ASMR. Is that mm. what it is? I'm borderline not even going to fucking... I can smell it. I'm fucking not even sure if I can do it. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> It's not even ASMR at this point. It's just kind of like a bit gross. I don't mind it. Yeah, see, it doesn't taste that bad. It's actually, I was a bit scared. I was scared as. Is it hot or something? Why it's is it burning my throat. Um, it's, it's got spice in it. Oh, oh. Definitely burning my throat. I was <laughs> yeah. like, hang on a second. It's so official, it you does, are way wider than me. Yeah, it, I'm it, shocking. It, I'm hot. pretty sure it has uh, some sort of jalapeno in it. Ooh, that is fucking interesting. So yeah, it's- To it's, be honest, if it didn't have that, I reckon it would be 10 times better for me. But like generally- the other one was worse for me. Well, this is this is six percent. Yeah, fuck true. So it's 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 two standard two point one standard drinks. I know yeah. you like this more than the first one. Yes, I think so too because I think this isn't sweet. It's like a margarita in a can. Yep. But like on steroids. Yep. No, I don't mind it. Wait, what did you say the standards were again? Two point one. Fuck. True. I can't wait for the next one, but I'll wait for the next one because the next one is a bit a lot. It's going to be a different flavor completely, nah. isn't it? And it's, I, I made sure that I wasn't getting too funny because I didn't want to end this podcast and have you guys throw up, like throw your guts up in the fucking backyard. Yeah, true. Because um, I, I want to come back. Like <laughs> I want to I want to do this again in person and bring the like 10 out of 10 <laughs> weird shit. Um, oh, the, oh yeah, you said, what is this? The it's like a seven. Mm. The, the, next, the next one's going to be held directly at the basement bar as well, isn't it? <laughs> <We're upgrading. laughs> at this stage, at this stage, if we continue having the rain we're having, it'll be like underwater. It will be up to up to our waists, trying to keep all the cables in the air, yeah. uh, and not get electrocuted. So we'll see. If it's nice sunny weather, well, maybe. Yeah, it's yeah, all right. If you need, if you need a new pump, put him in. I'm not Sparky. Yeah. Oh, you well, got, can hook you up. Have you got a mate? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple. I work with them. Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's so good. How did you go on a uh, Saturday? Because um, I fucking... Well, how was I on Saturday? Yeah, week? you were fine. You were just having a great time. Yeah. Yeah, you were just... Well, you walked... In, I knew you were coming. I knew you were coming because you, you messaged me saying you were coming, which I very much appreciate, especially with all these restrictions and stuff. I, I like to know, you know, if, if anyone's trying to come in, like, you know, I usually can't say yes, but with all this, like, the the uh, addition to my numbers, it's, it's made a lot easier. But um, I knew you were coming. And I, I knew you were coming in costume. I did not know what that costume was. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. How did that go? Well, you just, you walked in and didn't say anything. And for context, you were in a full black morph suit and a Rubik's cube and just stood there like a, like a serial killer in, a, in like Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, or like a scream mask where you just like, you see them standing in the background, <laughs> not saying anything, but you're all fucking ominous. And I was like, I was like, hello, who is that? Just silence. Oh, really? It's like, what's up, bud? Who are you? Silence. And then you said something. I was like, oh, hey, Link. <laughs> yeah. And you go, and literally your exact words were, oh, I'm glad you know my name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. I was like, and then oh. just rips off the mask. I was like, oh, hey. Yeah, true. What's up? I can't really, yeah, I'm very cloudy from that night, mate. The worst thing happened, right? So I got picked up. I ended up going out to Star Bar and I haven't done that in like, Ew. did ya? Too long. I don't know. Is that even a club anymore? Apparently you fucking backwards, anymore. man. The bar's like fucking in the opposite place and shit. Yeah, I need that stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. Anyway. I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Got an Uber. Got an Uber home. First time I've ever done it. I had to pull over and spew in it. In it? Oh, I didn't spew in it. I like opened the back door and like leaned Imagine out. Imagine opening the door, getting out of the car and then spewing into the taxi. Oh, that would be the fucking worst. Yeah. Anyway, I was like, <laughs> I was like, Keely, I'm good. And then Keely's like, Get out of the fucking car. And she was like, yeah, the Uber driver was like so angry. So I had to walk home. Oh no. It's fucking the worst thing in the world. But I can't really remember it. So I was all right. Oh yeah. So it doesn't matter then. Nah, I just knew at the time it felt long, but like, I can't really remember walking home. So it was well, that does have a bit of spice too. <laughs> <laughs> so, win, now, win. Now, he's, nah. now he's drinking water. Yeah. 
And I'm, I'm fucking... It's good, though. I'm I dry. Like that is good. Oh, I really like that beer. It's really delicious. Mm. Not bad. Yep, final review. I was expecting delicious. different because you said... You were scaring me with all this Yeah, but you talk. know the thing is, it's all anticipation. The worst part sometimes is just making it sound way worse than yeah. what it was. I, look, cause the, the, the worst thing I could do is like rock up with like like 15% IPAs because they don't taste great. Nah. Like they aren't good. I, like, I understand like really big beer fans that like can sit down and do the whole like, oh yeah, this is delicious. Oh, it's 15%. It's got is like- it's 15%? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it's 15%. It's got like 53 hops in it and shit. I'm like, dude, it literally tastes like I'm, I'm drinking grass. <laughs> yeah. Like this is fucking awful. Yeah. Well, like methyl. And I'm drunk immediately. Yeah. What, what, like, what? How many standard drinks is that? Oh, I don't know at this point. My maths isn't that good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Fuck, that would be insanely hard to drink. Yeah. So you'd have like one for the night well, and just like sit on I've, it. I've had some beers that I've, it's taken me an hour to drink, but I'm also about 12 beers deep and you, you, after a while, beers get hard to drink anyways. Yeah. But like some of them are just like thick. Thick beers. Yeah. Just got legs on them. If, if a beer has the word custard in it, uh, you expect <laughs> the worst. Custard? I had a beer that had uh, a stupidly long, it was like a, a nine or a 10 word title and it did have the word custard and it was like, uh, it was like vanilla custard pancake, I, imperial, blah, 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 blah. It was like 11%. I think it was like five standard drinks or something. And it was thick. Fuck. It smelled like custard. It was delicious, but it was thick. Have you seen that trend on TikTok? I don't have no idea what it is, but it's like them, it's like drinking drinks, but it's like gooey. It's gooey. What? Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. It's fucking weird as it's like, for example, if I like held a drink upside we down. We are on different sides of TikTok. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I Mine's just, a lot of this and yeah. weird actions. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, like it like goos out. Like they squeeze it out of like a, a solo can, for example. And it's like the solo, but it's like turned to like goo. That's what it made me remind me of. But yeah, I'm saying it's kind of... Nah. Shouldn't have even explained it really. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know why you even tell us about your 12 side of TikTok. Oi! Yeah, the adult side. TikTok, yeah, come, back, come to the adult Which is just side like, then. for me, it's like UFC... The adults are talking, you're just saying, all <laughs> oh, my TikTok is this. All my TikTok is this. It's like, mine's like uh, weird dances, drunk people, and like post-fight UFC, like uh, montage clip things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Uh, and chicks. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that's on everyone's page though. Like that's just, just showing butts. Yeah. A lot of butts. Of I feel like that's ma- most of like ninety percent of TikTok. Oh, that's what it's become. I think the scary yeah. thing is though, like half of them are just like twelve year old. Yeah, that's the that's hundred percent. And it's like why would it, it's like freaks me out. Mm. It's like, why would you oh, do I don't even know why TikTok promotes it like that though. Like, yeah, it's weird. It's gross. Yeah, it's very well. It's like you could say that about every website, like Facebook, Instagram, every single one like that. They're like they don't care what's on their website. They just yeah. want to make money. Yeah, yeah like you see like beheadings and shit on Facebook. Oh, like my, MySpace used to be shit as well. Like Twitter. Like all these websites that have like different categories. Don't talk shit on Tom, brother. <laughs> Fucking Tom. Don't talk shit on He was everyone's friend. Don't talk shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, bro. Wait, Facebook's changing their name apparently. Metaverse, mm. Metaverse. It's Meta. Metaverse. Meta. What, what is that? It's just that. So um, so Google isn't actually called Google. The, the segment of their search engine is called Google. Their actual company is called Alphabet. <laughs> so Facebook is doing a similar thing. So because Facebook, why do I know this? Facebook and WhatsApp and everything, Instagram, all the companies that Facebook owns is now going under the umbrella of Meta. Oh. Because uh, from a advertising standpoint, um, they, you know, they can change it up. So, you know, because all this negative press has gone to Facebook. Oh, no, no, we're not Facebook. We're Meta. Uh. So it's also, it's Meta in its own. It's a bit of a fucking joke. Like, I think it's just going to be like what the internet's going to be in like... 10 years from now. Mm. I reckon it's going to be way more virtual, way more fucking... Fucking hope so. I hope it turns into like that movie. Um, What's that one where like, he fucking puts the goggles on and it like takes him to the... It's, it, I, I kind of hope so, but I'm also kind of scared for the future. It'll be all like microchips and shit. Everyone's afraid of them now and it's going to happen. Like yeah. the amount of people that have got like their um, bank cards implanted in their wrists and shit or like... Wait, people do have that? Yeah. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Mate, I've seen that many fucking Terminator movies and- It all ends bad. It all ends, doesn't- Nothing- uh, Listen to John Connor for fuck's sake. What? <laughs> what do yeah. it? Wait, I seen a post um, on Facebook literally the other day, maybe yesterday even, it was uh, from Tesla releasing their AI robots next year. That's fucked. Well, the, the, every Tesla car has uh, essentially- a, Well, most things have AI in them because obviously you have to have learning. Like you use your phone- it's full human, humanoid. Oh yeah, it's yeah, fucking it's like scary. Full, it's probably yeah. Boston Dynamics too. They're the guys that are pretty heavy on robotics. True. They're the ones that uh, sell the robot dog that you can kick down the stairs. Yeah, is that the one like where they make those uh, VFX uh, videos and it's like 
those fucking standing ones like steal yeah. the guns and shit. Yeah. Have you seen that? I've seen the dogs in New York that check the people, the homeless people for COVID now. Oh. What? Robot dogs. Wait, you know those robot dogs? Do you guys watch Black Mirror? Yes. Have you seen that fucking yes. episode with the, there's literally shit, you know, them robot dogs have like wiped out yeah, humanity. Yeah. It's crazy. No it's, shit. Man, that show. It, it's probably going to fucking happen. It's <laughs> fucking. Oh, something will. It will have a mass extinction event and it'll probably be technology based and it's fucking terrifying to think of. Technology based or nuclear based. Here's, or, here's yeah. one that, here's one that um, I never even thought of until recently. Because um, everyone's like, oh, it'll be like robots and shit. What if it's, everyone's got their phone in their pocket, right? What if people were able to, like, a company was able to weaponize phones? Blow they just phones. blow up their phones. Everyone's phone. Everyone's phone is in their pocket. That would probably wipe out a massive amount of people. Probably a <laughs> massive percentage. Yeah, that that, actually that's would. fucking terrible. I just start leaving my phone in my bedroom at all times. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but Black Mirror is a great show. Black Mirror? Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Have you seen it? I'll just like, it. it's like a alternate anthology program. So oh, all the episodes yeah. are connected, but they're not. Um, it's in the same directly. world. Yeah, it's an anthology. So it's a, all the episodes are a different story. Yeah, they're in the same universe. Yeah, yes. I'm already, I'm already quite worried about the dystopia that we live in in reality. So I don't really need. No, nah, mate, you got to look at the future. It's terrifying, <laughs> Fuck, yeah. man. I, mate, I feel like it's happening right now. Look at the world that we live in right now. I feel well, because like, like, well, in this show too, it's like shows you every episode starts the same. It's all like super positive, except for the first, literally the first episode where like the. British Prime Minister fucks a pig. I mean, that's pretty extreme. But um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. they all start kind of positive and like, you know, and then they all get real hairy real quickly. Like it's, it goes a bit downhill. Yeah, it's actually fucked because when you watch it, you're like, oh, this is, you just know. You're like, whatever is nice here is just going to be like fucked. And, but it's probably the best show on TV. Oh, it's not on TV. It's on Netflix that does twists. Yeah. Like yeah. twist endings. It is the best show for twist endings. So not, not, not around the twists. No. 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 Kind of the same thing. Yeah. In a way. It's about <laughs> as fucking spooky. Like it actually I can't remember it since I was a kid, but if I watched it now, I'd be like, this is straight cooked, I reckon. Think about how many TV shows you grew up the with twist. That, that are fucking cooked. Yeah. It's so cool. It actually is though. Like if you think about it, like kid shows were like back then you're just like, Oh, it's a kid show, but now that you're an adult, you're like eh, that- It's a bit sketch. Like it's fucking weird. Yeah. Like you think about all these like um these shows where just grown adults dress up in like eight foot tall weird costumes like Teletubbies or like Mr. Blobby. And you're just like, that's kind of fucking terrifying. Yeah, and then they turn out to be pedophiles. Nah, not all. <laughs> wasn't one of the Teletubbies a... No, no, no. Wasn't it? No. Nah. Uh, was it the purple dinosaur? Uh, Barney. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was. That's fucked up. No way. I think... Uh, you guys keep talking. I'm going to look this Here up. Here we go. Mate, are you trying to tell me... Are you trying to ruin me cr- childhood in one podcast? Are you telling me your yeah, childhood's so. not been ruined already? Because I'm sure there'll be some sort of person you like grew up watching... Uh, that is turned out to be a nonce or a fucking murderer or some shit. No, uh, Michael Jackson's still my favorite. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> I mean, I love Bubbles the monkey as well, but you know, <laughs> I can just go to the zoo and see other monkeys. Oh, there you go. Barney the dinosaur was a seemingly seemingly harmless character. However, the third Barney was brought to court in 1997 for sexual harassment of a minor. Oof. He was found guilty and served five years. Yeah. Only five years. What's with sexual predators? Only seven, like fucking five years. And yeah, that was weird. Yeah. So and kind then, of right. And then like drug drug dealers spend like twenty. And it's always like pot. Yeah. Life sentences for pot. Yeah. Legit. Makes no fucking sense to me. Yeah. I wild. could go like that's the equivalent of me going out to my garden and eating grass and going to jail. <laughs> like. Yeah, I think they need to categorize drugs. Well, that's in uh, in is it America or the UK. It, like they're all under like a class system. Oh, same class. with Australia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. Um, Talking about drugs, it's just like manly. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is really taking a turn. This uh, it went to, it went from so lighthearted and like <laughs> talking about me being Scottish to fucking like drugs and pedophiles. You're right, Blake. Let's get back to oh, the. Yeah. <laughs> so do we get a bag <laughs> of haggis? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, tell us a little bit about tell us a little bit about you and uh, your beginnings with the basement bar, Andrew. Like um, back to the roots. Like where? What made you? I think you just told me off air that you actually bought it when you were 23. Five, yeah, five 23. Um, I bought it from a, a mate of mine who had it before me. Um, he decided to, to move it on because he had a young family, which I think is very, you know, very noble, very fair enough. Was it called Basement Bar? Yep. 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 Not a whole lot changed for like the first six months. I just kind of got it and tried to like find my comfort, you know, trying to find my footing and stuff. And then I think I bought it in the March and by July, I all I did differently was uh, paint it black. That was it. Oh, true, really? What was it? Uh, I think it was red. 
Red. Yeah. Nice. I think for like the first two years, I was just finding all this different red. And nice. By the end, I was like, fuck, this is just stupid. Like this Turn the lights off. Sexy colors. Keep it dark in here. Should be all right. Yeah. Mm. No, we'll see. And red isn't sexy. Red is like- I thought red was sexy. For me, red just reminds me of like a- It just- Nah. <laughs> it just, no. But I, I feel like it's also like, because uh, I've seen it for so long in my own venue and you just, I just could, for, like, I'd think I'd get rid of it all and it'd come back like a fucking like bad smell. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, there's more red. Yeah. Cool. It's everywhere. Now everything's black yeah. as it should be. Yeah, yeah. It does look good. It does look good. Um, it's probably like one of the only colors you could really do it down there. Like it's like, it's like imagine that if, oh, I don't know. I think if I, if you come down now, pink, de- uh, like painted everything pink, I think I'd probably get away with it as well. Can Maybe please I do it. And yeah. then like a big, a big Barbie playhouse, but like a bar. Like a big brothel kind of type yeah. thing. I'm in a big princess's uniform. Yeah. A uniform, outfit. That should be your permanent work kit. I'll be Cinderella. No, yeah. I could be Rapunzel. True. Yeah, that's probably- You actually more. could be Rapunzel. Yeah. The hair the, for like it. a B-Tech version. Mm. So what made you want to want to get into it? Um, when I was younger, I was always like the one where, you you know, you go to parties um, and you'd like host have me. Like, oh, do you want a drink? And they'd make you something weird and then you'd fucking drink. You're like, oh, that's actually not too bad. Or like, fuck, that's terrible. I'm going to go spew now. It's either one of the two. Um, and then as I got older, I was like always doing jobs that I didn't really care for. Like I worked every shit job you could think of, bar work at like McDonald's, which again, is fine. It's a job. I worked at McDonald's. I worked at Domino's. Nice. Yeah. Free pizza and shit? Weird pizza. Like you just make whatever, but like it was a fun job. Like, cause I, I, um, when I turned, uh, 19, I got my license when I was 19. So I immediately went and worked at Domino's. And at the same time I was trying to do music. So I wasn't playing music. I was booking music at Music Man. Um, so I think one person out of every band that played at Music Man worked at Domino's. True. So we'd like all be standing around where like, you know, you'd bag all the pizzas and be like, oh, fuck, who's, who's playing on Saturday? Like, you know, blah, 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 blah. Which was really cool. That is cool. So you'd have like a form of community because one of every band was just there hanging out, like yep. slinging pizzas. <laughs> it's like, oh, who's going to take Saturday off because they've got to play their gigs. So worked out all right. And then I moved from Domino's to Crust because, you know, upgrades. Yes. Promotions and shit and fancy <laughs> pizza. Yep. And stopped like delivering to drug druggers. Yeah. Um, I had one guy offer me heroin once for delivering pizza. And I was like, he goes, oh, I'll make you go speedy going class. I'm like, no, thank you. I have the best story. And I reckon I've told you, I used to be a delivery driver for Clogs, but I'm not going to say it on the podcast because it's too bad. I'll tell you off air. Remind me to tell yep. you off air, but it's very good. Yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was delivering to rich people, fancy pizzas, and then like <laughs> uh, got a uh, had to get a real job to fund. And then I started playing music, and I was playing in a band and stuff, and then had to get a real job to fund all of the stuff you needed to buy, like guitars and this stuff, like mics and shit. So I worked in a call center for a year, which was fucking terrible. How is that? How is working in a call center? Um, what what kind of call center? Like what I worked it? for the government. I worked doing. Um, I, I worked doing, uh, yeah, it was shit. I worked doing, uh, I was called USI. So it was like, um, so TAFE students use their USIs to like uh, keep all their documentation. Unique student identifier. Yeah, yeah. So I had to deal with um, everyone that had to try and get one. It was, it was like the simplest of problems. It was like, I don't remember my password. Cool, what's your security questions? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what's your email? Oh, it's this. It's not that. How do you spell your name? Such and such. Oh yeah, okay, we found you. Or like, it's just a fucking nightmare. And, but it was just, call center suck because you have to have, do everything. You can't just be casual on the phone. Like you have to, you can't be like, hi, how you doing? Blah, 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 blah. You know, what's your problem? You, you could stick to like a strict, a strict script, which after a while, you, you know, you work eight hour days and you get really bored sitting in a chair and not having really any fun and you're not having any mental stimulation. And you just like, be like very brain. You make stupid them. mistakes that are not even mistakes. And then you get like reprimanded from, just like you're not saying goodbye properly. It's like you can't just be like, see ya. You gotta be like, thank you for calling. You have, you know, like very fucking professional, which I understand, like the government, mm. but fuck. Sometimes you like that. I like personality on the phone. Like, yeah, I like casual. Like, I like to be able to like feel like they give a shit. Mm. I mean, I, after a while, you just kind of don't care. Yeah. Um, and then I finally got a job working at a bar um, um, at the Golden Vine. Uh, and which was the biggest trial by fire ever. The guy that I actually bought the bar off, like basement bar off, um, he, I was trying to get a job there thinking, oh, I really, I, I originally used to drink there and I really liked it there and I wanted a job there because I thought it was really cool and quirky. And I kept asking, oh, do you need any help? Can I come help you? You know, you'd have to pay me, you know, whatever. And, he, and then he ended up texting me, he goes, oh, you still looking for bar work? I was like, yeah. He goes, oh, my friend Justin uh, from uh, the Golden Vine is like looking for people and wants to like, 
you know, needs help. So I went down on a Wednesday and he goes, okay, yeah, cool. Here's the deal. Um, we have some uh, bar crawls, like a pub crawl. And there's like three busloads of uni students. Um, and they're all coming at different times. Oh, okay, that's fine. So you'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. If you have any problems, just tell me, you know, this is how you pour a beer. It'll all be straightforward. Well, it didn't go straightforward. Um, it was three busloads of nursing students nice. that were supposed to be staggered that all came at the same time. Oh, true. So my first ever night working in a bar was just like 150 screaming nursing students asking for like a thousand vodka raspberries and asking why the fuck I was so slow making vodka raspberries. I'm like, I was just a deer in headlights. Okay. Like, it's my first day. It's my first day. <laughs> they, probably, they probably just finished four weeks of unpaid leave and yep. fume and yep. they're just like ready to bash True. alcohol. Yeah. They probably did. <laughs> they're ready to smash yeah. some beers and yeah. shit. Just, like just heaving for a beer and I'm just like, I, I, I don't know, there was 22 going, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. Yeah. What is vodka? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then literally a year later of, of like working in a pub and like, you know, lots of changes and being a pretty um, uphill battle to figure out what the fuck was happening. Um, yeah, I bought a bar. Of, of, a year, of a year's experience of like like working in a pub, I was like, you know, it's a really good idea. Buying a bar. Nice. Yeah. It's so good though. You had like a passion for making drinks, didn't you? I just thought it was fun. Yeah. Like I think everyone should always do a job and not because like, you know, money's fun and all. Like it's great but you should always do a job you enjoy that doesn't feel like a job. You should never turn your hobby into a job because you still need things outside of work that you need to look forward to. But like something you just enjoy doing, like getting up, you, you don't get up and go, fuck, I could go to work today. That is motivational. No, but to be fair, I actually generally, <laughs> I generally do come to the basement bar like for you. Like uh -huh. that sounds really tacky, but like I like your personality and you're, it's not very often we can go to a venue, know the actual owner. And like still have fun with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And can beers. talk to him. Yeah, he just goes to Blake's just there for the beers. Yeah, he doesn't even know your name, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, that's the thing. Like I, I grew up um in Scotland, obviously. Um you can play the pegpokes again if you want to. Yeah, wait. There wait. we go. Wait, maybe you should just have it low over this whole thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's talking about his background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about my background. Yeah. Gotta have that like ominous fucking you know, <laughs> gar gargling. That's what backpacks are. Um I grew up in like a tiny ass village of like a hundred and something people. Um, outside of a town of 30,000 people. So very small, up, like growing. I grew up in the, like uh, the middle of lots of pig farms. Nice. Um, and, but we used to, I used to live like just down the road from like a classic pub, like a pub pub. Yeah. Like all the same regulars. It was just like, you know, you know, so I grew up in a pub. And so I love that. Like you'd walk in and be like, hey guys, you know, hey such and such, you'd, everyone by name, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even ask for your drink. You'd, it would just be there. Yeah. So, uh, you know. I don't have the, the mental capacity to remember everyone's name, but I still remember what they drink and try my best. But I just love that like people would give a shit. They'd care about what you were drinking and care what you were doing. You know, they weren't just going to be like, oh, how was work today? Yeah. The 100%. weather's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. What about that sports team? You know, yep. you actually had like, you know. Decent chats and stuff. Yeah. Becoming yeah. part of the furniture. Kind of. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then we film uh, ads in. You did film an venue. ad. Yeah. And it, you were essentially just, it was just real smoky. Yeah. That was actually fucking vibe, that video, wasn't it? Vibe. Yeah. That was sick. It was, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I think I ended up getting really drunk that night. I did. You, you probably yeah, were cause just we, watching us. We were like, having some drinks that night. Oh, we? no. I did get really drunk that night. You went out after. Oh. Uh, no, I, no, we went out after and then ended up drinking at my friend's house until five o'clock in the morning to the point where <laughs> all of their neighbors complained. <laughs> Oh I have a video on my phone of my friend who is six foot six in a dress. <laughs> yeah. What a man. Oh, he literally, like, he looked great in a dress. Yes, I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Buzz cut, looking real good in fucking a dress. Yeah. 10 out of 10. But um, yeah, that was a good day. That was a good, that was a good time. It was a very good time. It, yeah. it, it kind of like, it looked, I've, I've never, I'd never seen that bar looking like a nightclub before. It was looking uh, like a nightclub. And it was nightclub. kind of a vibe. I remember you saying, maybe I should do this. Yeah, I've talked to Paul a lot about like doing like kind of maybe a club night here or there, like in Tonkin and stuff. But oh, senor, senor, yeah, senor, senor. Mm -hmm. Um, but just the thought of having a bar that smoky and yeah. having no real ventilation sounds like an asthma, an asthmatic night, like nightmare. Someone would actually die. Oh, and fucking hell! <laughs> <on. laughs> yeah. Like I've yeah. had people fall and hit their head in the concrete, and there's still a higher chance of someone dying with all that smoke. <laughs> yeah, like, never. Everyone just starts busting the vapes out, then we're fucked. Yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's it, true. I bought a bubble machine the other day, though. That's fucking Like cool. a $10 bubble machine from Kmart. It's the best purchase I've ever made. I don't even know you could buy a bubble machine. Oh, yeah. It's just got a button on it. It just pumps out bubbles. That's fucking Yeah, good. it's like just for, it's for toddlers. That's actually good. And myself. <laughs> yep. And myself. I'm just a glorified child. Yeah. Andrew, should we bring out 
Is that called One Drop? It is by a, a brewery called One Drop, correct. I am scared for this. Um, what do you want me to tell you first? Do you want me to tell you the percentage first or what the beer is? Go, go the beer first. Go okay, the beer so first. I'm really excited for this one. I bought this for myself. Okay. Um, but today is my last drinking day for the month. Mm. I'm having a little sabbatical because my body fucking needs it. Um, this is a cherry imperial slushy sour. Cherry imperial slushy sour. I like slushy. I thought you were going to say it back and forth, like cherry imperial. That was going to be nice. Like, yeah. Nice, like a <laughs> contrast. Yeah, it likes a little contrast. Um, it is 10.5%. Oh, that's, that's naughty. It is four standard. It is four standard drinks. That is, literally. and I just saw the color. Yeah, I can see the color too. Like you're yeah. gonna be happy about this. And one. It, it does look like a red cruiser. Oh, that's so cool. That's Hang cool. on, does that? Oh no, that's gonna be a wine for sure. I know it. It's gonna it, taste like a fucking wine. I know it. It's gonna taste like a, a great. I reckon if you spill that on my table, it'd burn a hole through it probably. Oh, I think it's. I can't get it on my. <laughs> I don't think I can get it on my skin. I think it's gonna hurt me. Oh, I think. I'm, you, you're I'm both gonna be end, very careful. You're both gonna end up giving this to me because I think I've given you both way too much. Holy shit! Yeah. Smell is on point. Smell is. Uh, what do we got here? I can't even. I don't even know. Oh, surprising. Um, it is strong. <laughs> that was so quiet. It was really quiet. <laughs> I just said the end. I thought it was in my head. Yeah, <laughs> I, like, I thought I was finally losing my mind. Mm. That's so good. Yeah, it turns out my demons are Blake's voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. That's Sle- what sleep paralysis, but me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shirt. Oh, that's a shirt. That's good. So you as the Babadook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mullet and all. Yep. Yeah. It's actually. You can taste how strong it is. It is very, you very can taste strong. How it strong does taste. Um, it. That's gonna taste like wine. I know it. Nah, it's fine. It's like. It's very cherry. It, it is very cherry. How do you say oh. that? Very cherry. Oh, that's, that's red. <laughs> that's a bit of red right there. Yeah. I was drinking red on Saturday and actually. You end up like just with like a red mouth. Oh, yeah, it actually will. Mm. It's so dark. It's like blood. It's really tasty. It's like blood color. It actually right. is like blood Come color. Come on, Edward Cullen. Let's get into it. I thought you were going to say, let's neck it, mate. I was like, fuck. Is that you can. Mm. I'm in full support of that. I actually would, but I probably would throw up. Oh, yeah. It'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible, eh? Thoughts? Is that your first hit? Yeah. I actually thought it was going to be worse. Yeah, it doesn't look that good from you. Yeah, it doesn't look like you're having a good time. <laughs> yeah. He's even given the Murray, is it the Murray finger, like the Wiggles finger yeah, guns? The fucking, yeah, the guns. If you have any more beers, I'm going to yell and wake up, Jeff. Yeah, he's like, help me. Yeah. Yeah. Or you're going to have a stroke. That's what oh, his face is dark. saying. That's a bit dark. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck, this, if, you throw up, if you throw up later, this is going to be a colourful one. You're all going to be spewing up red. You won't, you're not going to be sure if it's blood or beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to come through my piss as well. And it's going to oh, be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, I have to go to the doctors tomorrow. Generally, though, not too so bad, but like, fucking, I have to sip it, though. You know what nah. I mean? Nah. Do you reckon you could drink that for a whole night? You've definitely got a hair in that. <laughs> I told you it happened. <laughs> I did say. But, um. That's actually I, why your beard's red. Oh, <laughs> no. Nah. Somebody, somebody was really drunk and got up real close and was like, you have a multicolored beard. I was like, yeah, I know. I know it's got that nice, uh, you know. It has it, con- it, it has it has contrast. It actually has the word of the day highlight. Yes, the strawberry blonde. Hang on, it has bally bally. Fuck! I was going to be smart and use a hairdressing term, and I fucked up immediately. Don't call him strawberry blonde. They all try and claim that. I'm, that actually I'm is. Yeah. Fucking, I'm a fucking ginger cunt, and call me a ginger <laughs> cunt. <laughs> yes, I'm not beating around the bush. That is what I am. I actually, how I refer to redhead people. And I got it off Game of Thrones. Mistakes. No, <laughs> no, it's actually it's actually like a rare percentage of people. The red girl. Would. It is, but it's also yeah. it also if if I, my my children will be redhead. I'm not going to have children. Let's be real. <laughs> my children theoretically would be redheaded and and so on and so on. So on. It is recessive. Recessive gene is that the term? I don't know Maybe. why. Yeah. Anyway, you know, do you watch Game of Thrones? Yeah. Yeah. Egret mm-hmm. says to Jon Snow that she is kissed by fire when they were born. Oh, that's, very cool. That's pretty sexy. Ooh, very cool. There is nothing sexy about me though, so that doesn't work <laughs> for me. Yeah. Imagine you just tell us about yeah, I'm kissed by fire. I'm, yeah. Why uh, you tuck your hair behind your ears? <laughs> it's like it's like um, if, um, it's like if Hodor was a fucking ginger. <laughs> I'm essentially ginger Hagrid uh, at this point. Well, kind of. 
Hagrid and the fucking bank elf. <laughs> it's like 50 50. You're, you're the leader of the wildlings. The bank elf. Fuck, that is. Whatever. Wild. Gringotts. Yeah. yeah. That's so fucking it's funny. Gi- it's gingerots. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yeah. But uh, nah, there's nothing you can't make. Like, I can't make ginger sexy. It's just not like. I'm on like cooked Ron Weasley level of ginger. If Ron Weasley was homeless. What I'm worried about is if I ever go bald, all I'm going to have remaining is my slightly ranger brown beard so mm. see my problem is i will go bald i think that's one of my biggest self-conscious things is I, I will go bald at some point i've seen my dad i know my hairline well that's where i had all the time my hairline is pretty fucking wrecked it's <laughs> that's, it's, it's, that's it's ropes yeah, he's got long hair it's, it's fucking ropes. ropes it's fucking ropes but um one day i will have to just pull the plug and and i, I won't be the one shaving my head because there is enough friends it's like i want to do it yeah so i will end up looking like either i'll look tough as fuck or I'll look... It'll actually probably look good. I'll though. look like a cancer patient. <laughs> the good thing is about when you've got a beard, though, you can go bald. Yeah, you got, If you've got a beard, you can go bald. Right? Or I, I just rip them both off and I look like a fucking egg. Yeah. yeah. Nah. No, no, I don't think no, I should. You definitely couldn't get rid of the beard. No. You'd, you'd, you'd nah, don't get rid of the beard. No. Go, well, nah. I'd look like a Make-A-Wish kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have John Cena knocking, like rocking up on a doorstep any second. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Oh. Well, I wouldn't be able to see him, but it, you know, I'd, I'd feel him. Mm. The aura. Yeah. You'd hear him. You'd hear like a voice yeah. coming yeah. from somewhere. Like the, the horns and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you just get fuck you'd. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, fuck. This This has gone like spiraled in so many different directions. It has. It's been great. It's, it's, it's it hit many levels. I think, I don't know what you expected, me coming on a podcast. Uh, it was going to go downhill real quickly. Oh, bad. Yeah. I reckon it's going uphill. Down, down, down. Yeah. <laughs> down, down, down. I mean, down. it could have gone... Like, I'm glad I only but, brought four beers and not like 10. But now that I'm... True. Like, but mm. now, now we want it to go down even further. Yeah. Yes. What makes like a shit pub? Mm. Oh. Oh. That's, I love that. I love this question. I'll, how about this? I'll answer why. What makes a good pub and what makes a shit pub? Yep. Because um, it's not what you think. I'm, I'm all cool with like dirty pubs. I'm cool with like pubs that don't have like cool, cool booze. A shit pub is one that has no atmosphere one that's too bright, um, yep. one that has... Well, a flat beer is probably a, a catalyst. I, like, If you've got flat beer, I like shitty ice. Like, my, my, a weird thing for me is ice. Can you like say Can you say a pub that has no vibe? I could. Can you whisper it? I could just say it. Yeah, do it. All of them? <laughs> 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 um, no, 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 no. That's that's a lie. There's a lot... The, I think the thing with locally, every, every pub that's out there has... Um, their their charm, even pugs. We have all been to pugs. Mm. Um, I don't care. I'll, I'll name drop. I don't give a P- shit. Pugs just has to be. It's very a target night market. when there's like when you're 18 and there's like 50 year old girls trying yeah. to pick you up well, all night. That's the one thing too. Is is my <laughs> yeah, legit. <laughs> I know I know my joint isn't for everyone. That's the one thing you ha- I had to come to terms with really early on. That like I'm not gonna have everyone come down and like be like, oh my god, this is so cool. And also, I don't really care because like I know that. But also you think about every, every other venue. It's like, you're not going to go to certain venues at certain times. Like you're not going to go to Rock of a Pugs at 3 p.m. Yep. Because why? It's like, you're also not going to go to like the Rifle at 11 p.m. Mm. I don't think they're open, but yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. there's certain places you will just, like it's, it's almost like every venue in town has a timetable. It's like, you have to be at this place at this time. Or what's the point? That's actually so fucking true. Yeah. No. Like my joint, I've, I'm trying to create... Like we're opening earlier and earlier and as we can open more, we're opening more days. Trying to create a thing where if you rock up at 3 p.m. or you rock up at 12, uh, 12 at night, you're going to get the same atmosphere. You're going to well, except for the fact I can't block out the sun. <laughs> That's kind of a problem. But like every other venue can't like, they have this problem where they really only are popular during certain periods. Like, cause that's just what the vibe they've created. Um, like it, there's, there's like Starbucks is always late, uh, busy after like 12, p- 12 at night. Mm. Any earlier, there's no one there. Yeah. Sure. Not that I ever go to Starbucks, but you know what I mean? Yep. You I know. do know, yes. I've been there many times at 11.30 when it's been shit. Yeah. yeah. yeah literally but it's like, like 11.30 yeah. at shit, midnight full. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's like everyone runs it. It's like, oh shit, it's 12 o'clock, we go to Starbucks. Yeah. Like, and I've heard that sentence all the time. It's getting, into, it's such, it's like nearly, like all the, the it's nearly lock up, we're going to get to such and such. Yep. Um, but what makes a good bar? like a good pub um, is just like, it, 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 I think everything matters. It doesn't matter if it's like a, a music venue or like just a pub pub or cocktail bar or whatever. If it's got a good atmosphere, like it's got a good vibe, like it fits the vibe check and uh, the bartenders are sick. Like it doesn't, they don't have to be good at making cocktails. As long as they're just like, 
like are just friendly. Like if they're happy to have a chat. Good yarns. Yeah, like I'm happy to just banter with anyone. Like if I can sit down and just chat to you about anything, I don't care what it is. I'll pretend to know about like long balls. If you want to talk about long balls, I'll fucking talk about long balls. Long balls is fucking fun as- Never play. <laughs> it is awesome because all you do is drink beers and play. Did not know that. I thought it was- Yeah, you don't enjoy long balls. You enjoy beers. <laughs> Yeah, true. Yeah, that's that's different. <laughs> no, I used to actually do it with uh, Chris, who's used to come on the podcast. Right. Yeah, we used to go like every Wednesday. We actually Scottish Chris, Scottish Chris. Oh, that's that's Scottish. Yeah, yeah. We actually He's the definitely Scottish dude, not the kind of Scottish dude. Just, there's no joke. We had a team that we played every week, came second and got money. Oof, that's no joke. Well done. It's gonna. I wish I could come put, second and win money. Put the lawn brawls brag out there. Beers are cheap too. Yeah, four dollars yeah. for a dry. Unbelievable. Anyway, yeah, what's your... No, you did just describe a good pub. Yeah. And just, I do agree with you. It's all about vibes. And even like music, like certain certain music kind of fucking kills venues as well. I mean, I'm renowned to play the dumbest of shit, <clears throat> but I think that's kind of the charm. I'll yeah. play whatever. Yeah. Like from metal to hip hop to... I think I have a Berries and Cream remi- remix on my playlist at the moment. Uh, and when we're in there, we just listen to Stormzy and... Yep. It's usually... Every time you come in, it's always grime. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and I don't know any other venue that plays grime. Okay, I would see. See all you rap heads out there. Grime. When I'm there, it's grime. Top, top, probably one of the top uh, um, hip hop genres, subgenres is grime for me. Top two. 100%. Mm. Maybe top, actually. Probably top. Yeah, 100%. Well, does that uh, almost wrap us up for the evening tonight, my gentlemen? Yeah. I reckon it might. Fuck, this is probably like the longest one we've done in ages. I think this may almost That's because be... I brought beers. When you bring beers, time doesn't exist. That's so true. I reckon this may be almost one of the longest podcasts in general, except for your uh, LRC one, maybe. I think that was fucking pretty long. But still, I enjoyed it. Sure. I enjoyed every minute of it. And I'm going to finish this. And, he's, and, oh. and, and Link has a buzz, so yeah. that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to finish till we finish these. Yeah. This could go for another half an hour by the rate you two drink. That is dead set. Uh, Blake's walking uh, down the hatch. Oh, yeah. No, he's doing the, the, uh, the coward's way out skull. The uh, don't want to smell it, don't want to look at it, just going to try and pretend it's gone. You know what's weird? It generally works though. It does because you you, you kill uh, the receptors for flavor, which is half smell, half taste. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to do it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works. Okay. Like, <laughs> Fuck, we're going like oh. two ends of the country. Yeah, well, like, we're country, yeah, planet. We're not Scottish now. Scozzy Scozzies. is a term I did. I learned. Half Scottish, half Australian. Oh, that's true. fucking cool. Scuzzy. Scuzzy. Yeah. Right yeah. I'll be right out. Holy shit. Oh, all right. Well, uh, the drinks are done. Link's going to be hangover tomorrow. Hangover? Oh, hangover. 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 <laughs> yeah. Not me, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, I probably will be because I'm like kind of still coming out of the weekend. I'm fucking, you know, you're just tired as fuck for the next day, like couple of days. Yeah. That's like me. Anyway, thank you for, so much for coming on. Finally. Yeah. I hope we do a drink spurts number four. We probably will. I think if, we, if we're going to do a drink spurts number four, I feel like I should introduce you to the shop that I, like my mate's shop and you guys pick. Is it Hobsfly? It is Hobsfly. Yeah. Yeah. I know Scotty. Kind Scotty. Of. Scotty's great. Yeah, yeah. But like, cause you guys would be like just clueless, but I'd be curious to just be like, here is money and here is <laughs> the beers. Uh, do it. I'd actually love to do that because I generally do want to learn more about. I mean, we could make craft. this educational, but fuck that. it get boring. No, no, no. I just mean like, Personal growth myself. Lincoln, yeah. Lincoln's pretty boring though. <laughs> oh. I wore the coolest outfit probably anyone's ever seen on the weekend. That's you were a literal cube. Yes. Yeah. I mean. Very cool cube though. Yeah. I had a lot of comments that night. You're going, why the fuck is he a cube? Yes. Yeah. And you look like a fuckwit. <laughs> <laughs> and who the fuck is that? Yeah. You literally, you rocked up. I don't know. This is going to drag out even longer. You literally rocked up. And when we went outside and he got yelled at from cars by like three people. Really? Yeah. For me? Yeah. Oh, really? You Sick. literally, some, some guy yelled at you. It was like, what the fuck are you? And you're like, I'm a fucking cube. And you're like, what are you? A llama. And they sped off. <laughs> and Link was like, what the fuck? Oh, that's so good. I was like, all right, fair enough. It's a, it's a bit of a statement, isn't it? Where a Rubik's Cube? Bit of a statement. I would say it's something. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of statement, but it's one of them. That's just, yeah. Mm. It's a statement of me and girls. Yeah, literally. All right, gents. Uh, well, yeah, that wraps us up for episode 51. Thank you so much once again for coming on. I'm very sad I wasn't episode 50, but... I know. That's okay. I know. It should have been the big 5 but... There's always episode 100. Exactly <laughs> right. Exactly. Or 75? It's a milestone. Yeah, 75. 75. Oh, no, no, no. I got a better one. 69. Yes. You know, I actually think that we do a drink spurts randomly, like just completely randomly, almost every 15 episodes. 
That's actually dead set. Oh, really? I think we did our first one around 15. And then... 30. Yeah, yeah. And then around 30. Can't actually remember what that one was, but it was around that. I mean, it has to be 60. And now we're 50. It's got to be like in the 60s. No, you've no, you, 69. Yeah, 69. 69. Beautiful. Well, let's wrap it up. And uh, good night, ladies and gentlemen.